petition, launched on a website called Change.org, has attracted 175,000 signatures of support. Titled Justice for Harambe, the petition calls what happened Saturday a sad incident and says the zoo's reaction was made in the best interest of keeping the child and the public safe. The author of the petition, a woman who calls Cincinnati home, goes on to say that it's believed the situation was caused by parental negligence and the zoo is not responsible for the child's injuries and possible trauma. The petition wants the parents of the little boy held accountable. But other petitions take aim at the zoo, including this one which wants the zoo's director fired and for the zoo to be shut down. That petition was started by someone in New York. Another petition began in Chicago and is directed at two Ohio lawmakers, Cecil Thomas and Denise Driehaus. The petitioner calls for the passage of Harambe's law, which would make a guest in a situation like the one that happened Saturday financially and criminally responsible for any harm and or loss to an animal. Now, I've been monitoring Change.org throughout the day, and the number of petitions linked to Saturday's incident uh, continues to grow. There are now 17 petitions started by people affected by Harambe's death, including one which began in Greece. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.